announcing the Politburo's decision on personnel issue. Da Nang City leader honored in ASEAN CIO CSO Awards 2017. Da Nang tops Vietnam's ICT index for ninth consecutive year. Da Nang calling for investment into high tech industry. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. The Da Nang Party Committee held a conference on October the 7th morning for city's key cadres to listen to the Politburo's decision on personnel issue. At the meeting, Mr. Harban, Deputy Chairman of the Central Organization Commission, read the Politburo's decision number 593 to appoint Mr. Chung Quang Nghĩa, member of the party Central Committee, Minister of Transport, to the Executive Board, Standing Board of the Da Nang Party Committee, and be the Secretary of Da Nang Party's Committee in the 2015-2020 term. Addressing the meeting, new Secretary of Da Nang Party Committee Chu Quang Nghĩa expressed his determination to accompany the city's party, government and residents to excellently accomplish the set targets and missions, in particular successfully organizing the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 in Da Nang City in the forthcoming November, which is one of the initial missions. The Ministry of Information and Communications has organized the 21st Vietnam Information and Communication Technology Development Conference to announce the Readiness Index for ICT Development and Application, Vietnam ICT Index 2017. Accordingly, Da Nang continues to top the Vietnam ICT Index 2017 for the night time. Notably this year, Da Nang surpasses Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi with the total score of 0.935 and leads the country in the indicators of IT infrastructure and IT application. Particularly, together with Hanam, Da Nang get the maximum score of 1 over 1 in the indicator of human resources, social infrastructure and the rate of schools with IT training. This positive result once again confirmed the city's property policy on investing in developing information and communication technology sector in the locality. With the orientation towards developing Da Nang into a smart city on the basis of the e-government, Da Nang is expected to further promote its capacity and readiness for IT development and application in the future. The ASEAN CAO CSO Awards 2017, which were officially announced on October the 6th evening, honored 26 leading chief information officers and chief security officers with outstanding contributions in information technology and information security in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. Mr. Dang Viet Dung, head of the Municipal Party Committee's Commission for Communication and Education, head of the City's Steering Committee for IT Application and Development, is one of the 26 leaders to be honored. Since 2015, with the role of being standing vice chairman of the City People's Committee and head of the City's Steering Committee for IT Application and Development, Mr. Dang Viet Dung has made outstanding achievements in leading and directing the IT application and development, as well as in the implementation of projects on developing Da Nang into a smart city. These activities have helped Da Nang to maintain its leading position in the Index of Readiness for ICT Development and Application in group of centrally governed provinces and cities. The Da Nang Department of Tourism has just held a meeting to prepare for serving APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 taking place in Da Nang for more than 600 tourist accommodation facilities in the locality. In addition to giving a general overview of the APEC event, the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 taking place in Da Nang about the cultures, principles of perception, diplomacy, some common situations and problem-solving skills, representatives of relevant agencies also share some information on security, food hygiene and safety at hotels before and during the APEC event. The participants also discussed about the process of coordinating and handling incidents whereby contributing to ensuring the work of logistics and best serving this major event. Tâm thức ceramic vase, product of Bát Chàng Pottery Village and brass plate 
of the Nam souvenirs are two out of the 20 items selected as souvenirs for the APEC delegates. The design of Tam Thuc ceramic vase is inspired from the chrysanthemum flowers with the meaning of perpetuating goodwill and love among people and exerting best effort to overcome all limits to create sustainable solidarity. The breastplate of Danak souvenirs embraces the sophistication and luxury of precious metal combined with urban symbols and cultural highlights of Danang. The Danang's epic gifts convey the message that development must be linked to natural, traditional, cultural and human values. On October the 5th, Vietnam Airlines announced its plan to launch more than 100 additional flights to serve the APEC event, meeting the increasing travel demand in the peak period from October the 5th to November the 13th, 2017. Accordingly, in October and in the first half of November, Vietnam Airlines will add nearly 110 flights connecting Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City to Da Nang with the aim of best serving the APEC Economic Leaders Week. Vietnam Airlines' plan aims to ensure the smooth travel in the peak period of the APEC Economic Leaders Week meeting the travel demand of the APEC delegates and tourists to the coastal city of Da Nang. The largest and more detailed survey on salary and bonus in Vietnam revealed that Vietnam was in the top three countries with highest salary growth rate in the Asia-Pacific region. The survey was conducted in 592 companies in 16 industries including technology, consumer goods, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, pharmacy and manufacturing. Data were collected from 289,236 workers on over Vietnam. The salary growth rate over inflation of two areas of Vietnamese companies and foreign companies this year stayed at 8.5 to 8.9%. The rate was lower than that of last year, but Vietnam was still in the top three countries with highest salary growth rate, just after Myanmar and India. From now until 2020, Da Nang is calling for investment into 68 key projects, 22 of them in the high-tech sector. This shows that in the city's strategy of creating favorable conditions for investors, high-tech industry has been the top priority of the city. In order to make great strides for the industries towards sustainability, Da Nang is speeding up the construction progress of the high-tech park and the centralized IT park, planning more industrial parks and complexes along with offering more preferential policies to attract investment. The city has also issued a list of 68 key projects calling for investment into such fields as education and training, healthcare, tourism, services, trade, high-tech agriculture, infrastructure, high-tech industry, and environment. The city will also limit the investment into processing industries using imported raw materials and consuming a lot of energy, resources, and causing environmental pollution. Da Nang will focus on promoting large-scale projects with highly competitive products, joining in the global value chain of multinational corporations, and encouraging investment into high-tech fields and supporting industry in service of production. In the first nine months of this year, Da Nang City granted business registration certificates to more than 3,400 enterprises, branches and representative offices with the total register capital of over 18,000 trillion dollars, up by 6.3% in the number of enterprises and 37 increase in the amount of capital compared to the same period last year. The production and business activities of the private enterprises remain stable. Generally, so far, the city has nearly 22,000 enterprises, branches and representative offices, which are operating with the total registered capital of over 140 trillion dollars. The city government continues paying focus on the foreign investment attraction. In the first nine months of this year, 73 new FDI projects were licensed, with the total registered capital of more than 61 million US dollars four times higher than the same period last year. Generally, so far, Da Nang has 525 FDI projects with a total investment capital of nearly 3 billion US dollars. In addition, the city is promoting 12 new projects with a total investment of about 500 million US dollars, mainly in the fields of health, education, energy, information technology, industry, and logistics. 
the amount of capital that foreign investors contributed, purchased shares, and the contributed capital in the economic organizations in nine months was $53.5 billion. The University of Da Nang has just held an international conference themed University Enterprise Cooperation in Asia Trends and Challenges. The conference was part of the EU funded project Hub for Growth. The conference aimed to create a forum for connecting businesses, industry, and academies from Asian and European organizations, whereby finding out solutions to new difficulties and challenges in the cooperation between universities and enterprises in Asia. The event is expected to help start long-term and sustainable partnerships between universities and businesses in Vietnam and overseas, creating opportunities for cooperation in research, technological transfer, curriculum development, and enhance student employability after graduation, as well as seek choice research projects. That's all for today's news. Please log on to dat.nang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.